right, welcome back, sneaker fam. So, what we have here today is a full sneaker collection video. Uh, I guess it's not a full. I don't have like everything in the collection, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the shoe that really got my sneaker collection going, and then I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that I don't have in boxes anymore, and then just try and group them together as best as possible. Um, I will save probably uh, some of my favorite shoes for uh, last, but uh, so we're going to get that going. So here's the full sneaker collection video. Uh, real quick, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, I'll mention it again at the end of the video, but we're up to like 136, 136 subscribers and uh, feeling excited. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, let me know what your favorite sneakers are in my collection and then what your favorite sneakers are in your collection. So to start the collection off, this is the shoe that started the collection off. Uh, so I'm just going to, yeah, obviously we all know that these are 350 Zebras. Uh, I'm going to talk a, a little bit about how I got each shoe and why they're, how they ended up in the collection. but. Uh, this one was just found at our local finish line. It was sitting. It was the second to last pair, and it was the last pair with a good box. Um, so had to pick these up. This was the first shoe that I ever spent two hundred dollars on, and uh, so it's been in the collection since twenty eighteen. Uh, so it's been in the collection for a while, and uh, she just needs a little cleaning. And they'll be good to go. But the first one we talked about. Easy 350 Zebras. All right, so like I said, we're gonna talk about some of the shoes that don't have boxes. Um, so, um, always gotta have some Chuck Taylors in the collection. Um, these are the two pairs that I wear frequently. I wear these to the gym now. But uh, if you guys remember, uh, I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, hence the, uh, if you can be able to see on the video, I've got a kind of a lump on my forehead and then a scratch on my nose. I uh, got knee in the face yesterday while training, so. It happens but I uh, got the blue ones got these at an outlet store for like super cheap like 20 bucks uh, was a blue belt at the time when I got these and then I bought these from uh, our local mall I don't remember what store it was but I uh, picked these up because I'm now a purple belt on the verge of becoming a brown belt uh, so always got to have some Chuck Taylors in the collection and they do get worn uh, wear them to the gym a lot now all right, the next couple pairs uh, I picked up because I was on a boost kick for a little while right after getting the Yeezys. Um, but these ones are thrashed and trashed. A uh, couple pairs of Pure Boosts. Um, I wear these to run in. Uh, they've, they're pretty old. But, uh, you know, doesn't you can't beat running in boost. Uh, this is a pair. I want to say the white pair is older than this pair, but I do run in them. They're still good. They've been in the collection for a while. I want to say three or four years. And uh, they get worn regularly. Actually, this pair is going to get worn today when I go run. And uh, this pair, because it's a lot more boost, gets worn a little more often. So, a couple pairs of Pure Boost. All right, and sticking with the Adidas theme, we got some Adidas Solar Hues. Uh, these pair are cursed. <laughs> Don't wear these very often anymore. Uh, pick these up from Goat. Uh, they were cheaper on GOAT than they were from my local Foot Locker. But uh, wore, the last time I wore these, like, seriously, uh, our car broke down on our way home from Detroit up at a, doing some outlet shopping. And uh, so I ended up walking, beating these up a little bit, walking, trying to figure out what was wrong with the car and had to have it towed back. So don't wear these much anymore because I feel like they're cursed. I know it's silly, but... Uh, I need to wear them more. They are nice and comfortable. Some uh, Solar Hues, Pharrell Solar Hues. All right, another pair that I haven't worn in a while, but I do like um, the Young 96s. I don't remember if these are Young 1s or Young 96s. I think they're Young 96s, but they're super comfy, you know, black and white. Uh, pretty much goes with anything. I need to wear them more. I wore them for uh, something for work and kind of beat them up kind of bad for, for a day, but... Uh, they're still in pretty good shape, and I uh, just need to be worn again. 
Uh, some young 96s from Adidas. All right, speaking of pairs that I've worn, I wore these pair. This is a uh, New Balance 997Hs. I picked these up from a local sneaker shop that I'm not sure is even open anymore. Um, but wore these uh, all around DC. Uh, me, the boys, and a friend of mine took a tour amongst uh, around all of the major monuments and uh, attractions down in Washington DC and I wore these all day long and they got thrashed because I wore I think we walked like four or five miles if not more wearing these so um, these are definitely a great addition great summer shoe real colorful and uh, I got some fits that I really rock these with in the summer and they're nice any time of the year but uh, New Balance 997H's and the last shoe without a box um, some Vans, a little bit, they're kind of old school, but they are a collab. The, these are called the Antiheroes. Um, I had seen that these came out, and I love these a lot. I wear them quite frequently. Uh, definitely real nice with, you know, uh, like a business casual shoe. So these get worn frequently for, like, work type stuff. And uh, anything that's not quite super dressy, but... Uh, still kind of somewhat dressed up, so I wear these frequently. Some uh, some vans. Got more vans in the collection, and you'll see another pair later. All right, so moving on, we're gonna do some of the uh, you know more everyday stuff that I don't uh, that isn't super hyped or uh, you know something people are really out looking for. But uh, picked up this pair some Don issue ones uh, I do like to play basketball not the you know best basketball player out there but pick these up I picked these up from an adidas outlet for like 20 bucks and uh, these are actually a really nice shoe to hoop in so if you're ever looking for anything these they don't have any boosts but um, and I have never picked up any hardens but pick these up from uh, outlet for 20 bucks and for $20 Really can't beat it. They're super loud and I uh, love hooping. So that's, those are on the list. All right, another one that gets worn frequently um, are my Nike Air Hirachis. These obviously get worn more during the summer, but uh, man, super comfortable. Wear these things all day long. Uh, you know, like I say to your shoes can't be made up of just all heat. You know, right now, Northwest Ohio, should be snowing but it's raining so obviously you're not going to want to wear any of your uh, super hype shoes out or um, if you want to put them in a book bag and you wear these somewhere and then swap shoes that's you know pretty much what those are good for some nike air hirachis all right next on the list i'll have to admit was an impulse buy uh, me and walden ran up to an outlet mall see if we could find any more air max 90 infrareds um, stopped at a retail store in Detroit and found these and I I don't know I felt bad wish that I had found something so I picked these up they're half size too small I have worn them before um, it's not horrible um, super bright colors um, so I think I may end up trying to sell these and just get whatever I can for them that way, you know, add a little bit of money back into the sneaker fund. But these are uh, Saucony Jazz 81s, I believe. Yeah, Jazz 81s. Uh, you know, kind of a throwback shoe and somewhat of an impulse buy, but they're in the collection. All right, so more everyday wears. Uh, got some Prestos. Um, really going to look to try and get Wifey a pair of these. She really likes them every time I break them out. I love this colorway. It's an amazing shoe. Um, also, really love the USA colorway. And again, these are shoes you can rock all day long, and your feet aren't going to hurt afterwards. Uh, more people should have Prestos in their collection. Nike's been doing a good job of dropping more and more of these. And uh, man, you just can't go wrong. These get rocked real heavy in the summer, obviously, because they're super bright. And uh, you know what? Maybe I'll wear these to train in today instead of the uh, Pure Boost. But uh, love Prestos. All right, next on the list is a collab shoe. 
Not super hyped, but uh, I wear this one a lot, so it's going to be the Sakai Blazer Lows. I really like this shoe. Um, this one is super comfortable, really well made, and uh, you know you can find these under retail right now. I did hit these on the sneakers app. Um, you know, pretty much have gotten everything for retail. I did have, I did make some trades for some things, but these are a retail pickup. And uh, I rock these a lot. Love them. The Sakai Blazer Lows. All right, another shoe. A lot of people aren't going to talk about how they have them in their collection. But these ones are real sentimental to me. Uh, so I have a daughter that got married in November. And uh, everybody in the wedding party wore Vans. So I went out and picked these up. Um, just some Vans slip-ons. Black and gray checkered. Man, you, if you don't have Vans in your collection, I don't know what, what, you're, doing, what you're doing. But... You need to have some vans again this is something you know it could be a good house shoe uh could be a good run the trash out because all you really literally do is slip these things on and you can kick them right back off especially the more you wear them the more they're broken in the easier they are to get on and off uh it's basically a glorified slide really uh so pick these up at our local van store all right and the super beater of the collection i don't want to say beater but i wear this shoe a lot I get compliments everywhere I go. Um, I literally, if wifey would be willing to get in front of the camera, she will tell you that almost every single time I wear this shoe, somebody compliments me on them. Uh, man, classic Air Max 3, Air Max 90, infrared colorway. Uh, I went to three different stores to try and get this shoe. Finally picked it up at our local Foot Locker. And uh, man, I'm so glad I did. I wear this one a lot, especially in crappy weather. My wife has actually asked me why do I wear them. I'm like, this is one of the reasons why I bought these. Because they're, you know, fire enough that people will talk to you about them. But they're also, you know, wearable and you can just want to beat them up. They've actually already been clean, so the, even the white stays pretty white. Uh, Air Max 90 Infrareds. All right, so now we're getting into some more of the heat of the collection. Uh, next up, we have the New Balance ALD 550 collab. Uh, I like these. I wear these frequently. And uh, man, can't go wrong. They're super simple. I need more of these in the collection, especially more 550s. Uh, these are part of a trade. Uh, traded I don't remember what the trade was, but I picked up these in another shoe, which will be up next. All right, so part of that trade was this shoe right here, Air Max 90 Bacons. So the second pair of 90 Air Max 90s in the collection. I love the pink laces. I took the brown ones, tan ones out. And uh, this was part of the trade with the ALDs. Uh, trade, uh, I traded... Uh, pair of off-white dunks for these in the AL, the Amy Leondor 550s. Just because I feel like I would wear the two more than I would the one. And this was, I tried so hard for these and missed out. So, had to get them in the collection. They are uh, super nice and I love these shoes a lot. So, the Air Max 90 Bacon. Alright, another shoe. Uh, now we're into the, the some of the real heat so this shoe i hit uh no i traded a couple pairs of yeezys to a friend of mine for the tech white jordan fours and then i traded those straight up for these uh so the yeezy 700 bright blues traded these i picked these up at soul status and uh actually i almost wore these today i probably really should have but uh nothing is more comfortable than a Yeezy with Boost, and I don't think anything is more comfortable than a 700. Uh, even though, uh, I don't know, everything with Boost is nice, and I love these. I wanted these when I saw that they came out, and we all know how hard those were. these were to get. Uh, so I'm super happy these are in the collection. And now the materials on these are just super high quality. And that's why 700s cost so much. But the Yeezy 700 bright blue. So we're just going through um, into the Yeezy part of the collection. 
And uh, here is another one. Yeezy 380 Alien Blues. Uh, the video I did with the boys is like number two on my on this channel. Uh, these are amazing. Everybody sleeps on 380s. I have one more pair in the collection that will be up next. But I think this is my favorite pair by far. Uh, the boys got these for me for Christmas and I love these things a lot. I actually bought this shirt for these shoes in particular. And uh, everybody sleeps on 380s and I don't know why. They're probably one of the, they're probably more comfortable than the 700s even though they're not as stylish. But the Yeezy 380 Alien Blues. All right, and like I said, the next shoe out of, in the collection is the Yeezy 380 uh, Covalites. Um, actually got these from Soul Status. Um, I don't remember what I was in for. I think that's, I actually ended up buying G's, uh, the uh, Smoke Gray Jordan 1 Lowe's. Um, we were in there spending some money. Um, I literally had just ordered these from Adidas and they were like, hey, do you want a pair of the Covalites? And I told them that I had a pair on their way and they said, well, just trade them and send them back because we'll give these. So I, they gave them to me like way under retail. Really couldn't beat the deal. Um, again, I don't know why people sleep on 380s. Uh, it's not a super hyped shoe. So if you're looking for a great, entry, I say it every time I talk about the 380s because I love the 380s that much and nobody really cares about them. Um, I have a friend of mine that I'm actually thinking about maybe picking up some pairs from him because I just love the 380. It's a great silhouette, super comfortable and Man, it fits just like a sock. You just wear some low profile or even some higher cut Adidas socks and these things look amazing. Um, so I want more 380s in the collection. All right, so the next shoe in the collection, um, I've hit on from Adidas, but I ended up trading my pair. So this is the Yeezy 500 Stones. Um, when I hit on my pair, I hit on my pair like December of 2019. And uh, I went for a size 12 and a half because you should go a half size up. Um, when I got my pair in from Adidas, they were a size 13. So they were big. I I felt like they were way too big. What I wear a size 12 and any Jordan and Nike. So any Yeezy 12 and a half. Um, they were just too big especially with as chunky as this shoe is it just looked gigantic on my feet so I traded my 13s at Soul Status straight up for their pair of size 12 and actually these fit some more true to size than other 500s and I just love how they mixed up or switched up the netting for the neoprene and uh, you know 500s are super comfortable too even though the, there's no boost um, I would say it's 380s, 700s, 350s, and then 500s. Um, but all Yeezys are comfortable. And uh, this is in the collection. And I like these shoes a lot. Super high quality. Yeezy 500 stones. All right. And the final Yeezy in the collection. Um, this was another pair that I hit on. On the Confirmed app. Or the Adidas app. And... I love having in the collection again 2019 I haven't hit on a Yeezy for retail from Adidas or the confirmed app or Yeezy supply since 2019 uh, my account was on fire hit the 500 stones and then I hit these and it went real quick I can't hit anything anymore can't hit slides can't hit foam runners can't hit 350s and uh, the black static colorway is amazing. I love them. I love how just simple black and then just it pays that little homage to the pirate blacks and on the back pull tab. And, uh, you know, can't go wrong with the easy 350s. And uh, I love having this colorway in the collection. All right. So now that I've gotten through all of the Yeezys of the collection, we are on to the Jordan. So the first up are 
the Jordan 1 light smoke gray. Um, pick these up from finish line. Uh, hit on a raffle. So super glad. I love this colorway. Super simple. Love the suede. And uh, man, love Jordan 1. So this is one of two Jordan uh, ones that I have left in the collection. Uh, maybe. Um, so this is one. Um, the next Jordan 1 up um, was part of a trade. I traded the Jordan 4 um, Lightning for straight up for these Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0s. Um, my favorite silhouette is the 4, but I had these on a list that I really needed to have for last year. So sometimes we got to make a sacrifice on you know which shoes we really really want to keep in the collection and which ones we don't so you know I feel like the lightning fours are gonna find their way back into the collection and uh, these were getting a little bit more harder and more expensive and I think that the lightning four prices are staying steady or even maybe even dropping a little bit but uh, this is the second pair of Jordan ones alright so the only Jordan three in the collection pick these up from goat this was the first shoe picked up in, I want to say 2021, but uh, it's the Jordan Denim, the Jordan 3 Denim collab, the Fire Red 3. So I uh, really like the shoe. I actually just wore this shoe on Saturday and uh, super clean. And I definitely see more threes coming into the collection, especially some of the threes that are dropping this year. I really want to get my hands on. And uh, especially the OG Fire Red 3 is definitely going to be added to the collection. But uh, this one, you really can't beat it. Uh, kind of like best of both worlds. You got the Nike Air and the Jumpman on the back. And uh, it's just super clean. And I love having it in the collection. The Jordan 3 Denim collab. Alright, so one of two Jordan 4s in the collection. Uh, this one is special to me. Uh, me and the boys waited in line at the, our local Foot Locker, picked these up for a Father's Day gift, and it's the Bread Fours. I do uh, wear these ones pretty frequently. I'm, uh, Jordan 4 is my favorite silhouette. I believe it's probably the least favorite out of all of the shoes that I own that Wifey likes. But uh, I definitely had to have this one when I retroed, and I'm glad I added it. And there's only one other four left in the collection. And I'm sure you guys know what that one is, but this one is the Bread 4. Alright, so we did one of two Jordan 4s, and the other Jordan 4 will be saved for later. Um, now we're on to the Jordan 5s. Uh, first 5 in the collection is this, the Jordan 5 Chinese New Year. And I uh, swapped the red laces in. Uh... Love the shoe. I don't even remember what shoe I took back. I took a shoe back to finish line to get these. I don't even remember what shoe I took back. And I still need to do a video on customizing these. Um, they do glow in the dark, which is pretty fire. Um, haven't worn these in a while. Uh, and I definitely need to do the customization video and uh, go from there. But these are dope. I like these a lot. And uh, they've got to get worn again soon. Worn again soon. The uh, Jordan 5 Chinese New Year. Um, the next one, the next Jordan 5 I really, really wanted to have. I got real mad when I missed out on the shock drop during the last dance in 2020. But uh, everybody knows these, the classic Fire Red 5s. And, you know, I had the Fire 3 denims. And I'm hoping... That when the OG comes out, I can have, you know, complete the set of OG Fire Red colorways. Um, so I have the Fire Red 5s right here. So uh, I've been a minute since I've broken these things out. Uh, I might have to when they need a little cleaning up because they're a little dirty. But, um, yeah, can't go wrong with these. I was super excited when I found out these were coming out and then they kept getting pushed back. And I finally did catch a pair and I'm super happy that I did. The Jordan 5 Fire Reds. 
<clears throat> All right, and I saved this last Jordan 5 for last because it's super important to me. Um, this was definitely one of the must-haves on my list from last year. Um, I went one for like 15 or 16. It felt like one for 20 on drawings and releases and restocks. Um, I almost pulled the trigger. I have a friend of mine that has a lot of contacts with um, you know, shoe plugs and stuff like that. And, um, his guy wanted like five or 600 bucks for a pair early. And I really didn't feel like I wanted to spend that kind of money right off the jump. And I'm glad that I didn't. And these finally made it into the collection. Uh, most of you guys know why and how, but, uh, junior hit on these for me. And, uh, these are, I was super excited to have them in the collection. Uh, and man, and these are amazing, and the story's amazing, so, you know, your boy's got to save these for last. I always save the sentimental stuff for last when it comes to running stuff in order, so uh, I'm so glad my boy picked these up for me, the Raging Bull 5s. All right, and continuing our countdown with the Jordans, uh, we're on to the one Jordan 6 in the collection. I almost hit on the UNC shock drop. Nobody saw that coming. Um, I just did miss out. But I did get a hold of a pair of these. And and I just dropped the box. Way to go. But uh, the Carmine 6s. Um, these are super amazing. You know, everybody knows the, the issues that these had. And I'm glad that I have mine. I f believe I picked mine up. Mine are from Finish Line. I don't remember if I hit or if wifey hit. Um, it was finish line, most likely her, even though my account's fatter. I, whatever. Um, same thing with sneakers accounts. Um, so, uh, super happy to have these in the collection. These are an instant classic. You know, when you get an old school retro like these, um, the Raging Bulls, the Fire Red Fives, you got to really pull the trigger, do whatever you can to get them in the collection. Like, you know, I haven't been collecting very long, so I don't have older versions of this shoe. Um, and I'm not I'm not going to pay that kind of money for a shoe that you can't hardly wear anymore. Um, so I had to get these, the Carmine's Jordan 6s. All right, so um, count, continuing the countdown, we did, we've gone 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, so we have a 1, 7 in the collection. Um, I really didn't want this shoe at first uh, just because it wasn't real high on my list of shoes that I really wanted um, but then you know understanding and seeing some of the history of this shoe um, I'm glad that I ended up hitting on it this is the first time in over 15 years that this shoe retro this is Jordan 7 uh, Flint and uh, you know it's not a bad shoe to have in the collection. It's a nice summer shoe. Uh, you know, if you wear a lot of gray, I, I wear a lot of darker colors. I've been expanding my color palette on my clothing as of late. But um, with this shoe, you know, it's just throw on a white t-shirt or and a pair of darker gray pants or black shorts or something. You know, you can't go wrong. And it's great to have such an old school classic Jordan colorway in the collection. And, you know, even though I, at first I didn't want the shoe, I'm glad that I hit on it. And I'm glad that I didn't get rid of it. And it's the uh, Jordan 7 Flints. All right, and now we're into the final three pairs of shoes in the collection. One of the more recent pickups right here, the Jordan 11 Jubilees. Actually, I just wore these the other day. And, uh, man, you'd be surprised how, like, how all day long comfortable this shoe actually is. And, uh... You know, traded the patent leather Jordan 1 breads for these. And I'm definitely glad that I did. I feel like I'm definitely going to wear these more often. And uh, then I would the patent breads. Just because I feel like those are going to crease really, really bad. And, I mean, this shoe's creased a little. But it's so less noticeable than I feel like the bread will be just the way the Jordan 1 is constructed. I'm super glad to have these in the collection and uh, you know thanks to trade block for the opportunity to be able to trade shoes so Jordan 11 Jubilee all right and the final shoe that was on my must cop list from last year uh, I'm super glad that I hit on these hit on two pair 
Luckily, I hit on a pair for me and a pair for my buddy Trey. And everybody knows what box this is. The cool gray Jordan 11s. Um, again, another super surprisingly comfortable all day wear. And uh, man, these are so awesome. I'm glad. I'm building my collection around one, fours, and 11. I feel like that's the um, silhouettes that I really want to uh, build around. Maybe fives, but some of the fives lately that have been dropping really didn't impress me. So I'm thinking one, fours, and 11s maybe sprinkle some threes in there but I want a pair of every silhouette uh, 1 through 15 uh, so we'll see how that ends up going uh, can't go wrong with these cool gray Jordan 11s and the final most important shoe in the collection I know that some of you don't aren't gonna you know say that it is uh, to me it is it's the most meaningful shoe that I have in my collection and uh, we kind of all know the story behind this shoe. Hit this on the shock drop. Thank you, J23 app. Um, I have not worn these. Every other shoe in the collection has been worn, except for this one. Uh, I know that I'm going to have to wear these at some point. I believe that I'm going to eventually um, un-DS these um, this summer. But it's just so hard with how meaningful this shoe is to me. Uh, this is the first Jordan that I've ever owned. I hit these on a shock drop. Um, they just re-released today. And I was really tempted to pick up another pair so I could just keep these on ice. And keep these as a display pair. But I didn't. Because uh, I have to wear these at some point. Uh, you know, paying what was the retail for these. 200 200 retail for these and then let them sit and just crumble without ever being worn you know it's probably not a good look but uh this is the most meaningful shoe and the number one shoe in my collection out of everything that i own you know i like to keep stuff that i have uh great story uh, about or you know it's a classic um so um, had to have these I'm super duper excited that they're in the collection and, and they will get worn eventually All right guys, so that's the end of the video. Uh, I know it's a longer one a lot of shoes in the collection uh, You know trying to push towards a hundred eventually at some point or another um, so Appreciate watching the video. I do have stuff lined up. I'm trying not to talk anymore about uh, what videos I have coming up, but I have a delivery coming in tomorrow. So Thursday you'll be seeing a video and then Saturday I'm going to be shooting a video and hopefully maybe uploaded on Sunday, but we'll have to see if I can get it uploaded uh, on Sunday. Uh, me and the guys from Citywide Souls are getting together again and uh, they're going to put together a profit box for me. They make profit boxes. So this is more of a collaboration to put out there on YouTube um, what they do as far as profit boxes. Um, so I'm going to unbox those and then I'm going to give those shoes right back to those guys because uh, I think like beater boxes and profit boxes are something that I eventually want to get into. Um, so in order to, you know, have another video for you guys and um, to kind of help, you know, give them some shine, um, give them some more exposure because that uh, the Strawberry Coughs video, you know, did some pretty good numbers. We're over a thousand views on that video. So you can get a profit box, maybe help them make a you know, generate some more um, sales. You know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help out other people and, uh, you know, give exposure to other, uh, you know, sneaker shops in and around the Toledo area. And I uh, really like those guys. So hopefully we'll have that video up Saturday or Sunday. Um, so that's what it's looking like for the rest of the week. Um, again, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what your favorite sh three shoes in my collection are. Um, for you personally and tell me what your three favorite shoes in your collection are and uh, make sure you like comment subscribe share uh, so the channel can keep growing you know I would love to start being able to make uh, you know some money off of this so we can reinvest you know stuff that comes in from the sneaker channel at some point we'll go into buying more shoes and making more and more videos so I really appreciate all of you guys appreciate all the love and support 
And uh, remember, your sneakers were made to be worn. And I'll be wearing every pair. So we know we have to undes the uh, ones. So um, catch you guys on the next one. And remember, your sneakers are made to be worn. So wear them, senior out.